Hi and welcome to week 31 of US history. So this week we're going to be talking about the post-World War II um, conditions in America, exploring its economic prosperity, social challenges, and Cold War dynamics. So um, we'll begin the week by looking at our first topic. Um, we're going to begin right after the Second World War. So the U.S. experienced unprecedented economic prosperity and a growing or aggressively growing consumer culture. The wartime industrial boom combined with government spending and technological advancements fueled economic growth. The GI Bill provided education and housing benefits to veterans, further stimulating the economy. The post-war period saw a shift towards a consumer-driven society with increased access to consumer goods and suburban living. The rise of advertising and mass media contributed to a culture of consumption, shaping American lifestyles and values. We'll then investigate the impact of this prosperity on veterans' reintegration into civilian life. So um, the GI Bill not only provided educational opportunities, but also facilitated home loans and access to health care. Uh, this support helped millions of veterans transition successfully into civilian roles, um, uh, making them a bigger part of the consumer economy and uh, helping them reach a growing role over domestic politics and voting. So, however, challenges remained for some veterans, particularly those who faced discrimination or struggled with the physical and psychological scars of war. So despite the bill, um, not all veterans were able to, fully, uh, to recover fully and reintegrate into society, highlighting ongoing social and economic inequalities. We'll then shift our focus to a demographic that you might have heard of, and it is the demographic of the post-war era known as the baby boomers. So the baby boom saw a significant increase in birth rates reshaping family dynamics, education, and workforce participation. This demographic shift influenced consumer trends, cultural norms, and political dynamics for the decades to come. Uh, additionally, the influx of migration to Sunbelt states, such as Arizona, for example, transformed the American landscape, leading to the expansion of infrastructure, housing, and industries. These demographic changes contributed to the growth of the middle class and reshaped urban and rural communities. We'll then take a look and then analyze the arms race and proxy conflicts during the Cold War. Uh, the rivalry between the U.S. and the Soviet Union escalated tensions globally, leading to proxy wars in Korea, Vietnam, and other regions. Both superpowers engaged in a nuclear arms race, stockpiling weapons, and developing missile technology. The Cold War era was marked by a constant struggle for ideological supremacy, with the U.S. promoting capitalism and democracy, while the Soviet Union championed communism. This ideological divide fueled conflicts and interventions in various parts of the world, contributing to geopolitical instability. Finally, we're going to explore the competition in space exploration between the U.S. and the Soviet Union. So the space race became a symbol of the Cold War uh, and of its rivalry, with both superpowers vying for technological superiority and prestige. Significant events such as the launch of the Sputnik by the USSR and the moon landing by the U.S. had profound impacts on global perceptions of power and progress. The space race not only propelled advancements in science and tech, but also served as a propaganda tool for both nations, showcasing their capabilities on the world stage. This competition fueled innovation and investment in research and development, R&D, shaping the trajectory of space exploration for generations to come. In conclusion, so we can say that the post-World War II era in America was defined by economic prosperity, demographic shifts, and Cold War rivalries. These interconnected factors shaped American society, politics, and culture, leaving a lasting impact on the nation and the world. So I want to thank you for following along so far. 
I look forward to seeing you all and working with you in class. Thank you.